Wave 900 is a biphasic defibrillator system that provides advanced monitoring functions and acute cardiac care by multiple modes of operation. AED, manual defibrillation, synchronized cardioversion, external pacing and monitoring such as Massimo SpO2, SunTech NIBP, Massimo ETCO2. The Defibrillator Relife 900 is equipped with external defibrillation paddles suitable for both adult and pediatric use. The user can select energy values from 2 joules to 300 joules. The Defibrillator has 7 inch color TFT display. Let us look into the operational controls and indicators. Power. To switch on the defibrillator, press the key once. When switched on, the LED located in this key is illuminated. Energy up-down keys. When any of this key is pressed, a menu appears on the screen indicating the various energy levels. Pressing the up key selects the next higher level on the menu. Pressing the down key selects the next lower level on the menu. Charge keys. Two charge keys are present. One key is located on the front panel and the other key on the apex paddle. Both keys have the same function. Pressing the charge key charges the defibrillator to the selected energy level. When the selected level is reached, the charged ready LED on the front panel as well as on the apex panel is illuminated. Sync button. The LED located in the ski is illuminated in the synchronized mode and a sync message is displayed on the screen. The LED blinks during every QRS detection. Menu button displays a menu on the main screen. Volume up or down keys are used for navigation and the menu key is used for selecting any of the parameters displayed on the menu. Volume up down keys changes the volume of QRS beep down. Two keys up and down are provided for changing the volume of QRS beep. Pressing down decreases the volume and pressing up key increases the volume. Lead keys selects the ECG lead that has to be displayed on the screen. Volume up and down keys are used to select the ECG source lead. Gain key used for changing the gain of ECG. Volume up and down keys are used to modify the gain settings. Alarm mute mutes the alarm sound. Mark freeze option. This key can be configured as mark key or freeze key in the main screen menu. If key is configured as mark key, then it functions as an even marker to mark and store the ECG data. When the key functions as freeze key, pressing the key will freeze all the displaced traces on the screen. This is indicated by the message freeze on the display. Pressing the key again will remove the freeze condition. Record key. This key is used for record functions. When this key is pressed, the recorder starts printing the present ECG data and status. When recorder is printing, pressing this key will stop the printing. Shock Initiates transfer of energy shock to the paddles. Two keys are present, one on each paddle. Both keys must be pressed simultaneously and held till the shock is given. Energy Levels this area shows the different energy levels. A menu showing the list of energy levels to be selected is displayed on the right side when energy up down keys is pressed. The selected energy level is displayed in the bold digits. Impedance information. This area displays the message related to paddle contact impedance. For example, NG. This message is displayed if the paddle contact impedance is not good. It is advisable not to deliver shock when the message is displayed. Similarly, poor. This message is displayed if the paddle contact impedance is beyond allowable limits. 
At this impedance level, the energy is discharged internally. ECG related information. ECG signal trace is displayed in sweep mode and displayed at a rate of 25 mm per second. HR rate. Heart rate from the displayed lead in the beats per minute is displayed in this area. Date and time. Current date and time are displayed in this area. Battery status information. Defibrillator has rechargeable lead acid battery with the capacity of more than 100 discharge of 300 joules. Loading the thermal paper. This defibrillator uses 58 mm wide thermal paper roll. To load the paper roll, pull the printer door forward to expose the rubber roller as shown. Insert the paper spindle into the roller and place it on the groove provided inside the printer compartment. Ensure that the grid surface of the paper is facing the thermal printer head. Pull the free end of the paper until the paper comes out of the printer compartment. Close the printer door after aligning the paper grids parallel to the edge of the printer compartment. Connecting the defibrillator paddles. The defibrillator has standard external paddles which include both adult and pediatric paddles. To expose the pediatric paddles, hold the adult paddle plate and twist the paddle holding its handle. The adult paddle plate will come out fully to expose the pediatric contact surface. To connect the defibrillator paddles, insert the paddles into the holder on the defibrillator unit. Align the defibrillator plug with the defibrillator output socket located at the bottom of the front panel on the unit. Push the plug fully into the socket. The plug locks to the socket with the click sound.